very good evening to one and all. The best way to spread the Christmas cheer is to sing it out loud for all to hear. It is with this belief that I, Rohit Pereira, your compere for the evening, and on behalf of the Basel Mission Christian Association, would like to welcome you, dear friends, distinguished guests, well-wishers, boys and girls of the wonderful and the various schools and colleges the 36th edition of the Festival of Christmas Music. Before we take this forward, we would like to remember today in a very special way our dear and beloved brother, Mr. Noel Nerona, who passed away on the 29th of November. Noel was a stalwart of the Basel Mission for a number of years. He was a past president as well. He was also associated with the Christian Tulu Association. An accomplished person in every way. A musician, he played the violin from what I understood. A vocalist, that is probably one of the reasons why the Basel Mission Festival of Music was truly close to his heart. No words can describe this wonderful soul who till his last breath was a part of this edition of the Festival of Music. In fact, I met him at the beginning of the week right here at the town hall. And he was so upbeat about the festival, he would definitely have wanted this festival to continue in a grand way, which we will today try to do in his memory. We will miss him very much. We would like to convey our deepest condolences to the entire Narona family. May God grant them the solace and support on their loss. And may eternal grace be granted unto the soul of Noel Narona. I would request you all to kindly stand in a minute's silence so we can pay our respect to our dear brother, Noel Nerona. Please, be, please stand. Thank you very much. Please be seated. No function begins without invoking the Heavenly Father. At this point, I would like to invite up on stage Reverend Dr. Vivek Gundimi, the assistant pastor of the Richmond Town Methodist Church, who will lead us in prayer. Friends, this could be a wonderful evening and a memorable evening to each and every one of us as we come in to listen to the voices that God has blessed with and the music that is going to be played. We can get so lost into a large crowd like this and forget the fact that God can minister to us as an individual. Shall we all close our eyes and look to the Lord in prayer? Lord, we worship you during this Christmas season. We thank you, Father, for bringing us together. It is your hands that have brought us together. Father, we pray that every voice that is going to be sung, every music that is going to be played, we pray, Lord, that every measure of music will bring glory and honor to your name. We pray, O oh Father, that this gathering would serve the purpose of coming together to acknowledge that you are the true and the living God. And as Lord, as we step into the season of Christmas, enable us, Lord, to understand the reason why you came, to make us more like you, like your son, Jesus Christ, that we may live only for that purpose. And we pray, Lord, for every program that is going to be done here this evening, every voice that is going to sing, every music that is going to be played, let it bring you honor. And we pray, O oh Father, that this evening we acknowledge that your presence is very much here. Let your spirit minister to us in your own divine and special way. So, Lord, we invoke your spirit's blessings and we commemorate, O oh Father, that you are very much here in our life today. And so, Father, we include your presence and your blessings in a special way to come to us as an individual. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we open this program, and all people said, Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Gundami. We appreciate your presence at this August gathering. I would like to introduce to you our esteemed panel of judges for the competition this evening. Mrs. Naomi Joshua, Mr. Jonathan Solomon, Wing Commander Dayananda Sons, Mr. Godfrey Ayadurai. The fifth judge, Mr. Andrew Bhagyanathan, will probably join us when the colleges come on for this uh, competition. Thank you very much, judges, for your support, and all the best to you as well. 
We know it's not going to be easy with such wonderful and sweet voices coming up here, and not to mention the cute little faces as well. That's going to be even tougher. I would like you all to give a huge round of applause to the executive committee of the Basel Mission Christian Association. They have strived so hard to put up this wonderful festival. They are definitely missing Noel Narona, but he is sending his blessings from up above and is here in spirit with us. And the angel said unto them, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. We present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the angels from the various schools and colleges who will bring you this wonderful joy and good tidings. We start this evening with the choirs from the kindergarten section, then from the junior section and the senior section of the schools, followed by the college choirs, which will be later on in the evening. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the evening, my dear friends. Without further ado, we present to you the first choir of the evening in the kindergarten section. It is the St. John's High School Choir, which is one of the oldest schools in the city, founded in 1854. Initially, the school was built to serve the interests of the Anglo-Indian community and the children of military personnel and government pensioners. When the CSI came into being in 1947, the, the school came under the church, and which was under the, those days under the erstwhile Mysore diocese. Then it was transferred to the CSI. Their motto is nil desperandum semper fidendum, which in Latin is never despair, have faith. Don't be discouraged, never give up. Have faith in God who is your helper in every situation. The St. John's High School Choir is going to be presenting two songs, that is, King is Born and It Was a Starry Night. We present to you the St. John's High School Choir, ladies and gentlemen. We, the students of St. John's High School, will be rendering two Christmas contemporary carols, A King is Born. This song talks about the birth of Jesus born in a manger as the king of kings may this king be born in our hearts today
It was on a starry night. On a starry night, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. All of creation and nature bowed down to worship him. So, let us join in and worship Jesus Christ, our Savior. We now will be moving on to the next school in the kindergarten section, which is the St. Thomas Public School. I'm going to read a small little note which they have sent. The St. Thomas Public School was founded in a humble way in the year 1986. The motto of the school is knowledge, wisdom, and insight, and they've always tried to pursue the path of excellence guided by their unshaken faith in the providence of God Almighty. The St. Thomas Public School have taken part in the Festival of Christmas Music since 2001, and they are here every year thereafter. They deserve a big round of applause for that. <laughs> this year, they have sent 165 students to participate in the three categories of the kindergarten, the junior, and the senior choirs. So, they are going to be singing three songs, which is What Child Is This? Come on, Ring Those Bells. And they're doing an a cappella of Deck the Halls. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, who believes in him, may not die, but live eternal life. Praise be to Lord. Amen.
We now move on to the next kindergarten choir. We have the Clarence High School Choir. The Clarence High School was founded in 1914 by the Redwood Brothers. They have had the privilege of celebrating the 100 years a few years back. It is their purpose that the grounding provided ensures that every Clarencian will mature into an adult who will prove his usefulness to and worth in society, living out a life which mirrors their school motto, our utmost for the highest. The kindergarten choir has 72 participants on board. They will be doing three songs. The first, the an a cappella called Donna Nobis Pachem. Second, it would be, it came upon the midnight clear. And third, light of the stable.
That was the Clarence High School Kindergarten Choir for you. Okay, we move on to the final choir of the kindergarten section, which is the Baldwin Girls High School Choir. The school was founded in 1880. It's one of the oldest schools in Bangalore today. The institution is a symbol of the triumph of tradition and individual talent, the fruit of loyalty and service, as their motto states. Righteousness and truth emanating from the warm, God-fearing heart of John Baldwin and the other noble souls that led to its phenomenal growth. Today, it stands as a landmark of quality education among the other education societies in the city. The Baldwin Girls School, I'm told, are going to be singing two songs. I do not have, unfortunately, the names right now. And they should be on board in a couple of minutes. Good evening everyone, this is a warm welcome to each one of you here today. You came down to my level when I couldn't get up to his. With strong arms he lifted me up and showed me what living is. He wants to make our life worth living, that's what he came down for. To give you peace in our homes and in our hearts. As we are going to sing, Let There Be Peace by Matt Meyer. Sit 
back and enjoy the song. and made its dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Our next song is Unto Us a Child is Born by Aaron Schist. <laughs>
That concludes the first part of the choirs, the kindergarten choirs. A big round of applause to all the four choirs, ladies and gentlemen. The St. John's High School Choir, the St. Thomas Public School Choir, Clarence High School Choir, and the Baldwin Girls High School Choir. We now move on to the junior school choirs. The first in line is the St. Thomas Public School again. They're going to be singing, O Holy Night, Bless the Lord, O My Soul, and Drummer Boy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the junior choir from St. Thomas Public School. Yeah. 
This brings back memories to me when I was a child, and I actually taken part in the Basel Mission Festival of Music way back in the 80s as part of my school choir. So it, it really brings back a lot of memories for me especially, and here I am comparing the show this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, those days we were told to just stand straight or with our hands that way and sing. Today, I think the kids are a lot more confident than that. While we wait for the next choir, my quote session again, Christmas is not as much about opening our presents as opening our hearts. Christmas is not just a time for festivity and merrymaking. It is more than that. It is a time for the contemplation of eternal things. The Christmas spirit is a spirit of giving and forgiving. We do hope all of you do remember something in this direction as Christmas approaches. Spread the word of Christmas to all the underprivileged, those who need your help. It does give you a lot of satisfaction, ladies and gentlemen. The next choir coming on is the Baldwin Girls Choir, the A section. They have two, the A and the B. They're going to be giving you two songs. It's It's Christmas by Chris Tomlin. He heard me, not bad. And Santa Claus is rocking. So we'll have to give them a couple of minutes while they come on board. Ladies and gentlemen, I present in the junior school, Baldwin Girls High School. Yeah. 